Here are the anti-gravity freedom machines that we took to the convention in 1996, I think it was, the Consumer Electronics Show, and introduced the machine. It had been in development for 15 years at that point, and I showed it off, and I have a good video of that too, I'll have to show you. But the, um, and everybody thought it was interesting and exciting, but the people who were kind of on the leading edge were starting to use email on the internet. And the internet was really just starting to get known. Even Bill Gates had just figured out what the internet was less than a year before. And, um, and he got kind of caught surprise and by surprise as well as I did by the internet. It was kind of funny, but anyway, so I brought my anti-gravity freedom machines home and they've been sitting here ever since. But you can see that we left nothing out of this baby, even the gratuitous design curves, just, just like George Jetson would have wanted. George Jetson, by the way, was a major influence on most of the lives of the kids from the 60s. We're still waiting for flying cars. You'll see that referred to quite a bit by old people that are still waiting for the inventions of George Jetson's age. So um, there's the anti-gravity freedom machine. It was very easy to use. In, in fact, you know, no matter what, that was the key of it. That's what the anti-gravity meant. What, gravity is the force that holds you down, and the PCs were full of gravity. And so this was the anti-gravity machine. You didn't have to know anything. If you wanted to write a letter to somebody, an instant letter, you just press the write a letter button. It was right there. And see, everything was coded. You write a letter, and then it would put a screen on here. You type your letter and you'd press send letter, and it would put the people on the screen that you could send your letter to. And then you used this pointing device to pick the person off the screen that you want to send it to, and bang, it went out. And you had a little light that would flash to tell you when you had new mail. And if you had mail that you hadn't read, that light would flash, the unsent. Oh, that's, that's the unsent mail. That means a letter hadn't gone out. So new mail is uh, letters you haven't read. 